Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature Flowers Photoshop video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cool orange peel style heads inspired by the artist MC Escher. I'll show you his work to begin with. You can see he did this picture here that is really exciting. He had this sort of idea of interconnecting heads, which are all connected with sort of an orange peel effect. He did a few different versions of it. And you can see it's like this ongoing like spirally thing okay what we're going to do is i'll show you how to do that on photoshop and what we will need to do this is a photograph of a face so here's a picture of me from the other day out in the sunshine and what i'll need to do here first of all is select the subject of the picture which will be the head Once we have selected it, we're going to put it onto a new layer. So we're going to copy and paste it onto a new layer, and we're going to discard the background. So there's my face. We're going to need a black background, so I'm going to place that behind it. And to get the black background, we're going to use the paint bucket effect here. And we're going to fill in the background. So we've got a black background. Then we are going to go to the face and make it black and white. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. Click OK. Then we're going to give it some strong contrast by adjusting the levels. Bring the line in here so we've got a nice dark. And bring the white over slightly here. And experiment with the greys to get it just how we want it. Once we're happy with that, we'll click OK. And you can see now that we have got the face. And we now need to do this orange peel effect. And you can see these masks here. I'll go through and explain how to do all of that straight away. The first thing we need to do is using the lasso tool we are going to need to draw our little orange peel shape so we're going to go around the first bit like this we're going to press shift on the keyboard and we're going to keep shift press so you can see the little plus comes up next to the cursor this shows that i'm going to be using another area to so press shift we're going to draw our next piece around. We're going to do sort of curved shapes. So we're going to go around like this. Like so. And we'll do another one where the eyes are. And we're going to curve these rounds so they follow the contours of the face. Like so. And we're going to do another one where the ear is. And the top of the nose in it. Around here, they can be quite rough, but we want them to make sure we've got that curvy effect. I'll do one down here, make sure it goes around where the mouth is, like so. And we're going to edit them once we've drawn them all at the end, so it doesn't matter if they're not 100% perfect to begin with. If we go wrong, we say Control Z, press Shift again to get the cursor back. Around like so, and one more down the bottom here. So we're going to get this one like so. Now, once we've done this, we're going to mask them out. So we're going to go to select, we're going to go to inverse, and this selects everything but them. Then, when we come down to add the layer mask here, it will mask out everything apart from the bits we drew. No, I've got that around the wrong way. Apologies. So we're going to go back. We're going to go to select inverse backwards and we're going to use the layer mask and we've got it the right way around. Apologies for that confusion. Next, we need to have the bits that go behind the image. We've got the cutout bits. Now we need the bits that go behind. So to do that, we are going to go to our layers, add a new layer, and we're going to put that underneath. We're going to go to our gradient tool and we are going to make sure we've got black and white. We're going to draw a nice gradient effect across like so. So we've got the dark bits here and the light bits over here. So we just make sure that's exactly how I want it. Perfect. Now, all we've got to do now is mask out some of the areas that we want as our 
curvy bit. So to do that, the easiest way and the effective way is create the layer mask first. Bucket fill it all in so that it all goes masked. Then using the white paintbrush, making sure we have got it on a hard round and approximately the right size of one of the stripes. So we just test it about there. And then we're going to draw a line that's going to connect up our shapes. I'm going to draw it round so it goes up and round like so. I'm going to do that for each bit. Like so. I'm going to connect them all up. Doesn't matter if I don't get it quite perfect to begin with because we can go back and edit them again in a minute. Like so. And connect them all round like that. Like that. And you can see already we've kind of got the, the gist of it. Now you can see up here. I need to do some fine tuning, so I'm going to switch them over and mask out that little bit there that I don't want. I'm also going to mask out that little bit there that I don't want, and that little bit there, and that little bit there, and maybe that little bit there. And you can see I've got the rough shape of the head all nicely masked out. Now we could leave it like that, but I want to make that extra layer to make it pop, so having these white lines that come around here. And to do that, I will show you how we can do that really effectively. But before we do that, I'm going to make sure I've just cleaned up this little bit here. Because it doesn't quite work. I want it to get a little bit more mouth there. And just tidy up that little edge here. One more bit, wasn't there? Not really happy with that bit there, so we're going to switch it over and just mask out a little bit there. And that looks about right now. Maybe get rid of some of this bit of fluffy hair at the top. Just tidy it up a little bit. It's not too much, so. Once we are happy which I'm not getting this how I want it at all. That's better. Once we're happy with all this, what we need to do next is we need to duplicate this layer. Then we need to drop that layer below the first one. We need to move it ever so slightly up and then we need to go to image adjustments color balance. Oh sorry image adjustments, hue saturation, I need to make it completely white so we get that white edge to the image and then we need to do exactly the same thing for this layer, so duplicate the layer, click OK, bring it below, move it slightly up and go image, adjustments, hue saturation and give it lots of brightness and that gives us our white edge effect so there it is there is our mc escher inspired cutout head effect have fun making your own versions of this you could do it out of anything it doesn't just have to be a head and um yeah enjoy it. hopefully if you've enjoyed this video make sure you go to the channel hit that thumbs up button and give it a subscribe okay thank you very much for watching and have a really good weekend bye now